Hey, what's up? So it's me, Claire, and I'm back with another video. And I'm here to talk about my weekend. So what happened during my weekend is I went to a rave. Yeah. Um, clearly, I do not look like the type to go to these things. Or maybe I am. I don't know. You tell me. But I did. And it's not my first rave, it's my second and it was the most interesting experience I've had because I saw a guy on his friend's shoulders with a horse mask on. And with a cape which is filled with rainbow colors. I did enjoy the fact he had a rainbow colored cape on and it was so cute and so funny. And yeah, I have a lot of gestures. Anyways, so going back to the whole experience, like the whole experience was quite interesting, like I said earlier, because they gave, once you get into the whole event, the whole venue, and it took me an hour to get in with my friends. Um, they give you this packet. It's apparently free when you buy the ticket already. Um, and it's a packet filled with colored powder. And of course, since it is a color festival, Chroma Music Festival, thank you, Chroma, for making it memorable. Anyways, so you throw it up when it's, you know, when it is time for um, the whole powder toss. The thing is everybody's been like putting it on themselves and other people so I got someone here already even though it's not yet the powder toss. And But you can still buy more which is a good thing. Anyways, so the whole experience was because as time went on you can see more and more people, more different people that look like they don't want to be there at the same time you can see people that do want to be there and people fit in and people who don't feel as comfortable as they should be i'm not sure i'm not judging them or anything but it's quite an observation as you can see a whole array of people people who are from different you know walks of earth from you like from different places and it's i wasn't able to talk to anyone but it was nice to see people because you could also see people from um, clearly look like they don't come from the Philippines. And someone even talked to me, like the vendor talked to me in full state English because I had an accent. And my friends were saying like, dude, you have an accent You're using your American accent right now. And I didn't know. <laughs> I felt bad. I could have spoke to him in Tagalog, but I was so used, in, used to speaking in English because from the start of the trip we've been just speaking in English and yeah. So as time went on, the most memorable thing I could remember or like the most um, distinct and significant part of the whole thing was definitely the powder toss which I had a short clip of. Here it is. <laughs> And after that, it was just, everything felt more alive, you know, after the whole powder dust, because DJs were dropping basses, making everything, like, you playing relatable songs that they put a little twist on it, and then just, like, really, it makes you feel good. It makes you feel like the rave is not just for people who love to party, it's for everyone who enjoys music. And that should what that should be what raves are supposed to be. My friend didn't go. One of my friends didn't go because she felt like she might, you know, feel small. And honestly, when I was there, I didn't feel like I didn't belong. It felt very relaxing and makes you feel like, oh hey, it, it makes it's for everyone. It makes it feel like it is for everyone. So I definitely did enjoy being there, being with my friends, having so much fun, and having you know. It sips in there, you know. It was great. It was lovely and fantastic. Loved every bit of it and thank you Chroma for everything. If you want to see bits of the rave, please stay and you'll see like what happens I guess after this. Okay. 
that's my opinion about Chroma. Hope you enjoy, and yeah, thanks for watching.